Pleased to be joined by head coach of the South Plains College Women's Basketball Program, Mr. Air Baden. Coach, less than seven days away, uh, seven days exactly, from the, the season tipping off, November 1st. Talk about um, kind of some of the turnover you have at the collegiate level, your roster, some of the things you're excited for, and some names we need to look out for. You know, I, I think that uh, every year we have basically a new team. Um, we have four players returning that played last year, and everybody else is new to the program. Uh, so, but that that's pretty normal for us. Um, I think that's pretty normal in junior college. You're going to have a new team, so it it presents a lot of different kinds of challenges. You basically start over every year. Um, some teams progress faster than others. The idea is just to keep getting better, uh, be better this week than last week. I know it sounds cliche, but that just has to be our mindset and mentality is we are who we are today, but that's not who we're going to be next week, next month, at the end of the season. Yeah. Coach Sowers, we kind of discussed uh, what it takes as the head coach always having to having assistance there to lean on. You brought in two new assistants. Um, obviously, that's that's common at this level as well. Talk about uh, the new faces and some of the excitement you have with them. I, I, I'm really fortunate to have the staff that we have. I was fortunate to have the staff I had last year. Yeah. I, I've been blessed to be able to work with some really good, outstanding coaches that are just good people. Um, Matt Kramer came in as our top assistant. For us to get somebody like that with that level of experience that's had that level of success is probably a compliment to South Plains College and what we offer here to employees. This is a place people want to be, and, and we got an outstanding coach there. And then Rodria D.D. Eccles uh, is our new second assistant, uh, was a very, very good player, um, a Power 5 level player. Uh, this is her first coaching job. She's mature beyond her years. She, she's been really, really good in that role and, and has a very bright future. Let's talk about the matchup next week. Obviously, uh, Landon is going to have Dodge City ready, as he always does. Talk about uh, kicking off the season there and just the excitement from the kids, obviously getting to play somebody else finally. You know, I don't know that it's quite sunk in with our group yet that, that we're this close to playing. Uh, we're, we're trying to remain focused on day to day. Uh, I think probably by the time we hit Sunday, Monday, that'll, that, that excitement, that enthusiasm, that energy will start to ramp up with the idea that we're going to put the uniforms on and it's going to count. Landon is one of the best coaches at our level anywhere in the country. Uh, outstanding job he's done at Dodge. Uh, won the Jayhawk last year, national tournament. Um, you guys around here know him well. He spent some time here under the, the last coach, Coach Petrie. Uh, he, he just a, a great coach and a better dude. And they'll be good. They'll be prepared. They'll, they'll be disciplined, well coached, good players. It's going to be a big challenge. Now you come in ranked 13th in the in the national preseason poll, and I kind of talked to you a lot about your schedule. Your schedules are as tough as anyone. Let's kind of jump into that. You're going to go to Arizona twice. You're going to make your way to Trinity Valley uh, in Athens. Time to talk about your schedule and how it lines up. It's going to be tough. Uh, maybe the hardest part about it, outside of who we're playing, is just the amount of travel we're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, we have one home non-conference game, and that's his first one, and then we don't play again until conference season starts at home. So we're on the road a lot. I kind of like to travel quite a bit in November. I think that's when the most growth we're going to experience through the season occurs on the road in November. We're going to go through some valleys. Hopefully we're going to hit some peaks. And we're going to learn a lot about each other, a lot about our team during that period. It, it, you know, we could schedule easier, I guess, if we wanted to. But I want to know who we are. I want to expose our weaknesses. And I want to help prepare us for what it's going to be like once we get inside a league play. You've had the opportunity to scrimmage a couple times already. Um, just looking at your team, being around them, uh, it, this is probably the most physically – imposing team 
on the women's side I've, since I've been here. Talk about the, the, the kind of basketball we're going to see, the kind of matchups you're going to try to put out there. I, you know, it's, that's a great question. I don't know if I have those answers yet. Yeah. Um, we're still looking for an identity. We're still trying to figure out who we are. Um, we've been competitive. Uh, got a great group of kids. They, they're, you know, they, they want to be students. They, they're good people. I enjoy being around them. I enjoy coaching them. But as far as what kind of basketball we're going to see, I, I really don't know yet. I think that's going to play out over the next month, month and a half. Last question I got is in terms of the, the scheduling that you do. How does playing, you know, you're, you're going to play, I don't have the top of my head, multiple teams in the top 20 to begin the year, you know, before we hit conference. And then once you get to conference, you know what you got. How does that – is that something you, you you look to line up so when you get to that point in the season in January, it's it's full tilt? I think so, at least on some level. We're intentional in the way we schedule. I, I want to expose weaknesses now. Um, you know, I think back to even a year ago is a pretty good example. There was a point in the season last year – I think we were three and seven or something like that, and we played this great schedule. It wasn't time to panic. It was exposing problems. It was giving us time to solve those problems. By the time we got into league play, we, we finished a game clear, won the league championship, so and, and advanced to the region final in a great region last year. So, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I – these games matter, don't get me wrong. We want to try to win every time we play. We want to compete every time we play. But I think so much more is to be gained from a growth perspective by playing a great schedule is these kids have to learn. And, and it's that way when you get into league. You can't take any days off. Yeah. You can't take possessions off. You can't take anything for granted. you got to show up and be ready to go every time you play. And I think that lesson is a good lesson to learn in November instead of learning that yeah. lesson in January and February. Coach, we're, like I said, seven days away. Any final thoughts about the season, the first matchup? And I know you guys got to be excited. You know, we are. Um, I, I'm i kind of in that mode right now where we're, we're not quite there yet. I, I really think it'll start to ramp up next week. But... Yeah, I mean, this is – we've been going at it since September, and, and you know, you're, you're learning about your kids and you're, you're trying to get everything installed and, and they're trying to learn how to work and how to play at our level and those kind of things. And now we get to kind of see this is an evaluation. You know, it's, it's, again, another cliche, but what we've done up to this point is kind of coach's time. Well, yeah. That, it's the kids' time. It's, it's their time to go play. To, to implement the things we've worked on and, and go compete, and this this is fun for them. Yep. Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. 545 next Wednesday against Dodd City, followed by the men's game at 730. Thanks, Coach.